What is up everybody? It is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install the Minecraft Comes Alive mod for Minecraft 1.8 on your Mac. Here we go. So before we get started, you need to do two things. The first one is, you need to install Forge for Minecraft 1.8. If you have not already done that, I've created a tutorial on how to do so. Also, your library folder needs to be present in your user folder. I've also made a video on how to do that as well, so if you have not done that already, please go watch those videos and then come back and continue watching this one. However, if you have done all of that, then we can proceed. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is click the first link in the description below. It should take you to the downloads page for the Minecraft Comes Alive mod. Now if we scroll down, we can see here we have more columns and rows that we need to pay attention to. Mod version, Minecraft Forge, the core, and then the downloads. So what we need to pay attention to is the Minecraft version. In this column right here, we want 1.8. And also we need to install the core and these download links right here are of course for the mod itself. And this is the core. So what we have to do is simply line up where it says 1.8 and then click mirror on the core. Your download link should appear in the upper right hand corner. Once the skip button appears, click that and it should download. Let's get out of that. And now let's go back. And now also along this 1.8 row, under downloads, click mirror. And this should download the mod itself. Again, once the skip add button appears, click that and it should download just like that. Now let's get out of here. Now let's drag these two mods to our desktop. After you have done that, let's open up our finder. Make sure you are in your user folder. If you are not, here's how to get to it. Click on your hard drive. In my case, mine is called Macintosh HD. Then click on your user's folder. Then click your name or whatever your user folder name is, that is mine. And click on your library folder. Then click application support. Scroll down until you find a folder that says Minecraft click on that and then there should be a mods folder click on that and drag both of these dot jars into your mods folder let's keep this window open and let's open up minecraft make sure your forge profile is selected then press play okay so now time to double check and see if our mod is installed click on the mods tab and if we scroll down we can see the core is installed and the minecraft comes alive mod is also installed click done I'm going to go into single player and I'm going to create a new world. Jumping on into my new world, I get this crystal ball. I'm going to open it up and I can right click the enchantment table to begin, which is right here. And then I have to go through all this. So I'm going to say on mail, which do you prefer? What is my name? I'll just call myself Sam. I won't call myself by my Minecraft username. I have a family. I live alone. I live in a village or none of these. I kind of want to do I live in a village. Warning, this destiny can potentially can potentially be destructive to your world. The option works best on flatland with no other structures. Yeah, this is a new world, so it doesn't matter. And here we are. I am living in a village. Let's head outside and see what it looks like. Oh, this is so cool. So here's my little civilization. My little village right here and all my buddies. And this is the Minecraft Comes Alive mod. Let's dig into the creative menu and see what we have. Here are, here's the tab for Minecraft Comes Alive, wedding rings, villager beds, and this guy's even talking to me, um, cloth, tombstone, that's disturbing. If we open up this tab, gem cutting, look at all these little gems. I hope this video helped you guys, and if you made it this far, that means you have, of course, installed it correctly. Alright everyone, that is it for this video, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.